Hi, this is John Lennon with David Gresham in Apple Studios, London, and uh, we'd like you to listen to this new sound, okay? At this moment, I've just walked into the Apple offices here in London, and I'm sitting next to a very well-known member of the Beatles, John Lennon. John, first of all, hello there and welcome to the microphone. Ah, uh, hi, how are you? Great, and it's great to meet you, it truly is, sincerely. That's a pleasure meeting you, too. John, um, I think I want to get straight down to the point. You made a remark some time ago in the press about uh, Jesus Christ, and... Uh, the press made quite an issue of it, so I would like to know from your own mouth what you actually did say. Well, see, originally the article was out in England, and people didn't take it out of context and took it uh, how I said it, you know, but the, how it, it came out months later when the, when the worldwide news came on it was when uh, some DJ in, in the southern states saw the remark, this is six months later, I thought this is a good way of getting some publicity for myself and that's how he did it, you know. Now, the point was, it, the, the remark was something like, the Beatles are bigger than Christ these days, or whatever it was. Now that was saying this was a sad state of affairs, that uh, the kids were more aware of what Beatles said on a record than what Jesus actually said, you know. And of course there was a big palaver about it and I went to America on a sort of dreadful tour sort of explaining what I'd said to everyone, saying I wasn't saying this was a good thing, I was saying look at the dance halls and look at the churches, what are we going to do about it? So what you actually did say, it's a sad state of affairs that you as the Beatles could pack out the um, dance hall whereas the church couldn't and this is yeah, rather tragic. The fact that the, the children were taking more notice of pop stars than they were of Christ's words, you know. And nobody can fault me because I'm a Christian and I'm one of Christ's biggest fans. I believe implicitly in everything that Jesus said, you know, and I try and live my life according to his rules and principles. And it's unfortunate that people got upset about this, you know, but uh, they, they, I think they've been mistaken about it, you know. The thing was blown up out of all proportion. Now here am I saying I'm one of Christ's biggest fans now. Nobody can fault that, you know. Well, um, I remember the remark being blown up tremendously in the paper, and yet a few weeks later when you said, uh, I do apologize if I have offended anybody in particular, and they just put it in a sort of side column. Yeah, well, that's not news that uh, I was sorry that people were offended by this remark. You know, the remark was made just sort of off the cuff with no particular thought about it. You know, it was just a lot of... Uh, churchmen around the world said this unfortunately seems to be the truth what he said you know and it's just unfortunate that that's the way things are going you know well um because the remark was made um your music isn't played on springbok radio but i do believe that uh, this has taken out of context and I, I made it my business when i was visiting london that i had to see you and find out what the truth was well that's the truth you know and just let me tell all springbok radio listeners i'm a follower of christ you know and that's it. And of course I'd like to apologize for anybody who was offended by it, but uh, I think if they really look into the situation they'll see that what I said wasn't meant to be offensive, nor was it offensive. The offense was that it was blown up. Well, John, uh, I'm pleased I got this from you. Very, very pleased, and uh, I hope all will be well for you back home. I really do. Well, so do I, you know, because the music goes on and it's all for love and for God. Thank you very, very much, John Lennon of The Beatles.